Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review right here on the Brad Tracker channel. And today I'm going to talk about um, this, a movie that, wow, this movie was undoubtedly one of those movies, and I'll probably say this a million times, it's one of those movies where you sit and you watch, and at the end of the movie you're just like, what the hell did I just watch? Um, so, I watched the movie... On Netflix, so you can find it on Netflix as long as it's still on there. And it's called Most Likely to Die. And the picture, the imagery on the, the Netflix thing looked pretty cool. Um, he had, It looks like he has like his face painted and it has dye on his forehead. And I'm like, intrigues me. I'm like, looks pretty cool. And he had to graduate. I, well, you can't really tell in, in the picture. You can't really tell. Uh, on Netflix, like kind of what it is, really. Um, but once you start seeing it, you 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 know it's graduation outfit. Um, <clears throat> well, this movie, and I'm not gonna give anything away, but um, it's it, it's more or less kind of like a who done it scary movie. Um, it's basically what it is, and you know, it's one of those movies where. It's not obvious, but also in the end, it doesn't really make much sense. Like the people who you think would have done it, one, they're not even in the movie, and the other, it, it, it's not that one. <laughs> so it's completely, it's like, it, it's one of those who done it movies when you find that. It's kind of like Scream 2, like, not, well, it's not like that because. This person is in the movie, the entire movie, and he's one of the killers. But it's kind of like Scream 2, where at the end you find out the killer, and you're just like, well, that was stupid. And this movie is the exact same way. Like, it wasn't a very good payoff um, at the end of the movie. The conflict was not very good. Um, and just, it just wasn't very good at all. Like, I, I'm trying, So basically what happens is, um, it's kind of like a reunion. These people are getting together. And I, I'm still not understanding. I'm thinking they were supposed to go to like the class reunion, like in a few days, and they or the next day. And this was just they showed up at this guy's house um, to uh, to just get together and party the night before. That's what I'm. I'm pretty sure what the movie is. That's that's the, the premise for the movie. So they all show up there, and then things start to happen, and one by one, people start, um, you know, dying in, in unusual, weird ways. And it's not even like it's one of those movies where the deaths just—they're kind of cool. Like the first couple kills are pretty cool, but it's also kind of weird. Like kind of like, it's not even Final Destination weird. It's just weird in a way like, they're cool but when you see how they died, you're like what? I know the first one is weird. The second one, you're just like mm, I, mm. I don't know. Like, the first couple ones are not bad but like after that, it's just kind of kind of weird and it's just, just stab and go and it's just not even entertaining, really. Um, there's a couple... There's some cool kill scenes in it, though. It's not bad. I would say... I mean, it's not... It's not something I'll ever watch again. I'll tell you that. It, it's one of those movies I would never, ever watch again. Um, it's not rewatchable. Really because it's just horrendous. But you watch it once, and you're done. And I would be hard-pressed to say somebody probably wouldn't turn it off when they got to certain scenes, because there's some uncomfortable acting going on in this movie. Uh, some of the actors, most of the actors are pretty good, but there's a few actors in there in certain scenes where you're just like, oh my god, you don't need to be acting because you suck. Um, and there's some actors like that that get into these B, these B movies, whatever. Um, which this movie seemed like, it was, it was pretty well, it was well made. So, how they got these people to be in this movie. I have no idea. They could have picked some way better people. Um, I've seen some better actors in B movies than these people. Um, like I said, half the cast is pretty good. The other is 
so-so. They're just okay. Because, I mean, and not all the scenes are bad. But some of the scenes are just not very good in. And that's probably just the dialogue that was written for him. But, I don't know. Something, something is off about certain people in the movie. But, all in all, I mean, if, I, if I had to give this a rating of, like, a 1 to 10, like, what would I rate it? Um, because I, I think 10, I, I, I would assume, like, a 1 to 10 rating is sometimes better than a letter grade because letter grades you don't want to give it a bad grade so i always like to give movies like kind of like a on a number system because there's so much of a huge scale that movies can be on and this movie is probably like a three like it's pretty down there i, I might be no 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 it's a three because a one would be like the worst you could watch like hard to watch and this movie was actually kind of hard to watch at times. So, um, with that being said, that's really all i got to say about this movie. Uh, most likely to die, uh, currently on Netflix, if you want to check it out. Uh, come back here, let me know what you thought about it. Um, because it was... I don't know, man. I mean, it, it's worth the watch. But just know that it's kind of slow getting into. And this one girl they put as the main character... Uh, she's one of the ones that I, I debate her acting skill. And, and the guy that she has a conflict with, his story makes no sense. I'm not giving anything away. He brings a supermodel to the thing. And her whole premise is that she's a poker player. And the person he brought with her is like a supermodel that wants, or not a supermodel, but like she's like, she's like a, I don't know, she's like a, actress or something i don't know idea but she wants to her to teach her how to play poker i'm like really like what what is this what is this crap and he wants to date her you brought a woman that's way hotter than her why are you wanting her i know you like went to school with her but it's like makes no sense at all it doesn't make no what, what the, <laughs> i don't know there's some weird stuff that goes on in this movie and the casting choices is just beyond, I have no idea what they did. So, um, yeah, I give it a three, probably three, 3.5 or something, probably a four. I, I probably could be more lenient and say four, because it's probably, it's not an average movie. It's a little bit below average of a movie. Um, I don't know, I probably still have to stick with a three, though, because just the way everything goes in it, it's really slow, and it's like... A kill scene happens, kind of a long break, there's chatty, and then there's a kill scene, more chatty chatty, kill scene, and then at the end, it's just like, everywhere, and it's just like, stupid, doesn't make no sense, like, it's, and once you find out the killer, it's just, what? And it just doesn't make any sense, and at the end of the movie, Something happens, and you're like, okay, so is there going to be another one? Because I sure as hell don't want to watch it, because this movie was horrible. But it's kind of like, um, uh, I reviewed, I think, Contracted, and I didn't li like that whatsoever. And there's another movie out that, and I think it's still on Netflix, and I might have to watch it just to see if it's any better than the original one. Um I think I started, did I start to watch it? I don't know if I started to watch it and I didn't or what, but um, I may have to watch it just to, to review it to see if it's any better uh, than the original one. But, um, allergies acting up. But anyways, yeah, most likely to watch, I have to give it a three. Let me, let me know what you think. Go watch it, come back here, let me know what you think. Um, but other than that, like, comment, subscribe, as always. Keep rocking.